hey guys welcome back um so uh last episode we didn't do so hot um our cap got absolutely wrecked we lost some jets uh it looks like our front line got pushed back it used to be up here um so that's a bit of a problem uh so let's take a look first we'll check a look at the statistics and see where we're at uh i don't remember if i covered this at the end of the last episode i think i might have but we'll go over it again real fast um so the lines are unfortunately they're kind of paralleling each other uh and they're not deviating which is not great for me uh this going down is good but but i'm kind of following the same trend so that's not a good thing for me uh armor we're actually doing we were doing better here uh our trend line is further down than there so we actually got pushed back a bit uh not good so uh this is the next turn we've gotten everything set up for us already um i think what i'm gonna do uh, let's see we got a bar cap out of here we're gonna dump that we got a bar cap here we're gonna dump that we don't need that um we have this bar cap don't want it uh let's see what's this one another bar cap and a Kaz front line we're gonna dump that also okay we're gonna have to really work on this so um in my off time i set up a little surprise uh we're gonna set up the mission accordingly it may not make sense from this standpoint trust me there's a plan in motion uh we're gonna pretend just for fun that some events happened and then uh, you'll see you'll see what i mean in a few minutes so uh, i think the first thing we're gonna do is i'm gonna set up uh, a bar cap um let's do f-15s um one thing that was suggested to me was doing more than a two ship it seems to work better when you do a bar cap so a three or a four ship uh they tend to work a little bit better i haven't tried it we're gonna see i only have three f-15s left so we're gonna have to make that work with this one uh we'll go ahead and create that asap that is our only bar cap really um so i think that'll be fine and then i really need to make some advances here uh so if this is going to be about 15 minutes in <coughs> um i'm gonna go ahead and let's see what we have left here i think i need to take this airbase so they only have they have mig 29 mig 31 two mig 29s um they do have some cast stuff but for the front line uh they have some stuff too okay so let's go ahead and let's plan an attack to get rid of this stuff i'm gonna go ahead and uh i'm gonna add a strike flight and they can be i guess i could use some av8bs um on these units it's us uh, two strellas and something else a, a truck so i'm gonna i'm gonna assign two av8bs to that they'll come from the tarwa they'll be 22 minutes in i'm gonna make this a little later i'm gonna make this about 28 minutes in so 15 minutes after time on target for cap is that gonna work maybe 10 minutes so we'll go uh yeah we'll go uh whoops 25 minutes so cap will be on station 10 minutes later airspace should be controlled um i think we'll try that there's some bmps let's assign uh we're gonna have to be a little bit picky here so let's assign uh, a single f-15 uh f-16 sorry strike we, we really need to capture this base is, is my issue so um we'll do that I don't know why that came up 24 minutes in yeah that should be that should be good enough uh and then what's up here three bmps go ahead and do another f 16 i guess so we got a strike uh let's take a hornet we'll take a hornet off of the uh, theodore roosevelt drop him in there asap move that up to 24 minutes as well save and then uh, i just need something to attack this and <clears throat> let's see we'll do strike again do i have another do i have more av8b still i assigned two over here so i have more than two 
have four okay uh i'm just gonna take one of those because there's only one unit that guy shouldn't have a problem if he does maybe he deserves to just disappear you know you know what i'm saying all right so we'll do that so that should take care of this base um hopefully i'm worried that the one f16 won't take this guy out so the shund is the group so if we close this we go to the shund let's up this to two i just want to be sure we can take this done um and then i'm gonna leave these for now i think we're okay really just want to focus on this maybe i'll maybe i'll take this too uh let's do new package i guess we should just use up whatever air force we can come up with um i'll take a two ship yeah we'll take two ship hornet out of there i don't want to send them to these sa11 sites because i feel like the, the ai just gets trashed every time and i'm not really feeling that so um yeah i think i think i'll just send two here that should be fine oh that didn't work no mission delete package new package strike and i said hornets create asap i'm gonna put these again at 25 minutes uh that's a two ship save that there okay so that'll give us this airspace um and then i think the next set of missions we can come down here and attack this uh i think that'll be good enough kind of glancing everything over i, I really i really want to like push really hard to get this stuff but i think this turn's not going to do it there's just not enough resources so we'll do that um i'm gonna purchase some more f-15s because i'm gonna need those uh, so we'll do three more that'll give us if these other guys survive that'll give us six uh, i know that's not a great number to have um, we'll close that i, I also want to buy some more frontline stuff so um our base defenses are probably fine uh, we have strikers bradley's abrams i want to buy another abrams i want to buy maybe another two strikers another two bradley's i guess we'll set them to aggressive um another tip that i was given uh is after i land i can go into like the the forward commanding slot and i can uh command my units to advance um and i can actually tell them to move uh to gain a little bit more progress or attack certain units so we might try that um we'll see how the time goes okay I think I've ordered everything. I think that's good. Uh, let's double check our times. This time is wrong. So that one needs to be a 25 minute one also. Uh, so 15 minutes bar cap is up and then 25, 24, 24, 25, 25. All of those strikes are going to happen within a minute of each other. And then bar cap can leave. We don't care after that. So bar cap is going to be up total 30, 30 minutes, maybe. If there's more stuff in the air and it looks pretty hot and heavy and bar cap can take care of it um we're gonna do that this role for this video uh i'm gonna do some bar cap but i have again a little special something we're gonna go after so uh if we don't do successful here we're gonna have a problem because we only if we lose a lot of units i'm only gonna have 109 million left over that's like two or three planes <laughs> um depending on what we buy the ground troops suffer we're gonna suffer um might call this quits after this one i don't know uh again it's the first time i've played this through so uh still trying to figure out i'm going back now i already know mission one and two i did some stupid things i wouldn't do again so um we'll try it out anyway i'm gonna go ahead and uh save this as a new file just in case um planning complete and we'll go ahead and oh not all no slides have players continuing will allow the ai to perform a mission but players will not it will be on a participate oh that's fine i gotta i got something up my sleeve remember um we'll go ahead and hit yes ai mission only i think we're good to go 
Okay, so uh, I'll let you guys in on the big the big secret. Um, basically, uh, I hit up Ralphie Dude, and uh, we decided we'll do a flight together. And uh, he's bringing in Elmo of Razbam fame. He's their community manager. So the three of us decided, let's do a flight together. What are we going to do? And I said, hey, I'm running this DCS Liberation campaign. You guys want to join me for a flight? And they said, yep. And so here we are. But here's the twist. Uh, Ralphie was like, let's fly some F-22s. And I said, I don't know how I'm going to fit that in here. <laughs> but um, I did. I, I set up... so. After I did all of this preparation, I set up a set of F-16s and then I installed the mod and I edited the mission so the F-16s were doing bar cap as F-22s. And so that's what you're going to see. And I'm using it in the story uh, of this campaign in because it fits in the timeline. The F-22 was in service uh, as in uh, we were losing the war, which we were, and we're bringing in the big guns. So uh, <clears throat> we're going to do some bar cap and uh, it's going to be awesome. And... Uh, I hope you guys like my bathroom. This was the only chatting scene I had set up because I needed to do this after the fact. I didn't want to set up another one. So uh, we're sitting in the Tarkov bathroom for now. Um, but yeah, here it is. Hope you guys enjoy it. It was a lot of fun playing with these guys. Um, I didn't talk a lot to the camera uh, like I do in the previous stuff because I was so focused on what we were doing and also talking to them. Um, usually when it's by myself, it's much easier to talk to you guys like this. But uh Anyway, hope you enjoy. Here we go. We already armed up and ready to go. Should be, yep. Should have uh, six 120Cs and two AIM-9. Scene. Oh, we have the external ones. Uh, we have the external AIM-120s loaded. Should be internals also. Is it all yeah. of them external? Yeah, do we want to take off the external? Yeah, we'll be fine. I am ready to go. So in the past mi missions, uh, their cap gets up so fast that usually you'd probably start pushing to engage before you even get to waypoint one. So we might have to do that. And then uh, we'll just take off one at a time here. A little squarely on the runway. Oh shit, we're right behind you.
back on the power bit. You guys still got ice? Where's your farm? left a bit. And if you have to, right alt and comma turns down your RWR sound. Happy, thank you. You don't like that thing beeping at you the whole time? <laughs> I bash my head against the desk when I do. <laughs> Go lights off. I'm bringing the power bit. Smash off. I think we got three thirty ones and two twenty nines. Tally eleven o'clock. I think what we'll do is uh, we'll come left here in a bit, and then we'll push out a bit, uh, go into combat spread, and then uh, we'll do our first volley at whatever we can hit, break them up a bit, and then maybe we'll start a little racetrack. Two. Three. Try and trim this as a... Painful as the F-16. No, if the knee board loaded for this, I tried to get the knee board to work. Let's see. Oh, it does. So if you go to kneeboard and then push uh, left bracket, you'll see our actual flight plan. If we need to reference it. If you look uh, to our left here, you'll see a bunch of fires. That's the, that's the front line. We're going to come left now.
All right, let's go ahead and spread out. And reference uh, one zero zero. One zero zero. Gonna come left to zero eight five. Land it off the nose, forty miles. Altitude. Uh, checking. Shit. The radar fucked up. It's getting high. Got one at um, Angels, Angels 23. 23. Roughly 50 miles, 55 miles. Copy. Lead's got another one behind, or three's got another one behind them at Angels 16 and climbing. Another one at Angels 7 in front, 40 miles. Front to back, we have 8, 23, 25, and 20, starting at 40 miles, ending through 40. We have 55. closer targets at 40, no, 25, uh, 30 miles at 1 and 3,000. Visual. I'll push them, you guys push the other guys. Uh, Three stake in the vans in the back at uh, 17 and 18. Okay. I got the one at 11 and 24. The launches from below us on our right. Happy. I think friendly. Patron yeah. missile sites. Box three times two. Cranking left. One. Engaging, breaking left. Box three. Splash. Fox 3. Okay, getting too close, turning back around. Copy. Good splash. We got multiple confirmed kills. Bandit Angels Eight. Possibly splash. Furball engaged defensive. Splash. 
He's right above me. I have four sticks left and two short ones. I'm five and two. Something high conning. That'd be neat. Happy. You got something below you smoking, uh, like exhaust smoke turning to a fox two. Well, that was close. Those are your uh, merge. Yeah, thirty-one. Is he low? Uh, we're both co altitude. Fuck three. Good splash. Splash. Double penetration. the only way. Got unidentified locks off my left. Uh, that was me, sir. Oh. <laughs> I unlocked right away. I, I was hoping that. you wouldn't hear it. What was the uh just shut up the RWR? Uh right alt and comma. Oh alt. Got it. Thank you. Jesus. The skies are clear uh, for now. Hey, firm. Should we take this opportunity to get some fuel? Yeah, we can try that. Uh, have maybe two guys refuel, one guy stay in station. Yeah, that sounds good. How's your fuels? Oh, yeah, we can't check, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you guys want to head over? Uh, I'll just stay on station. Okay. I'm going to engage the right, targets so, yep. up here. Got it. Is yeah, that uh, you conning in a jab? Uh, I am, yeah. The two targets or one? Uh, the, there's two on the RWR. I only see one on the scope right now. Oh, there is the two. Angels two and angels fifth. Uh, angels three and fifteen. You need. You want to support or you good? Hey firm. I got him. Okay. I'm good. Happy. Turn around. Let's see where this tanker is. Which one was the one thirty five? We know Arco or Texaco. Ah, I forget. All right, I'll look. Oh, you know what? It's probably on the kneeboard. 135 is the Texaco. That's what we need, right? Yep. Mm hmm. Texaco, 1 1. Chevy, 1 1. Request rejoin. Uh, Texaco is not responding. No. I wonder if it's because we need easy comms on. 
Arco is also... In the comments menu, if I go to tanker, it says NA. Overlord's responding. Alright, well, maybe we won't refuel. Scratch that idea. I just deployed my last long stick. Happy. Arco responded. Did it? Yep. Definitely say that I can probably just do this all with heaters and they'll never get me. <laughs> that small RCS. Yes, sir. Alright, I'm turning back around. I'm kind of deep in enemy AO. I'm the one contrailing up high. Um, refueling is probably not going to be a good option anyway because they're just flowing straight towards the enemy base. Weird that they don't uh, respond. We got uh, two bandits within forty, bearing uh, zero nine five. Got these zero fourteen thousand. Wow, yeah, those tankers are definitely going straight towards the enemy. What yeah. The heck? yeah, the liberation campaign is not without its bugs. <laughs> the AWACS will eventually end up on the right side of the map, so. Hmm just overflies all of the enemy territory. <laughs> How far away from the uh, front line are you guys? Pretty far? Did you push in pretty far? Um, yeah, I'm already on my way. Um, almost over the tankers. Heavy. We should get the tanker to work. Alfie, can you check and see if I'm actually on Texaco or Anchor's ass? Stand by. Texaco is the south one. Uh, this is Texaco 1-1. One, one. Yeah, here at Texaco. That's... Okay. What's the altitude? 14? 14.5. Uh, New 31's showing up on scope. Happy. I'm going to have to be uh, back up because I'm already out of long range. Yeah, I'll push. I overflew you guys. Yeah, you're behind me now. Is 
Is that you? Yeah. No? Not sure what he's doing, but he's not responding back to me either. That's Taxico. I gotta go to Arco. Is the 131 uh, with the boom? Directly room? north, heading west. I always forget which one's the one with the boom. I think both of them are. There's a KC one. Yeah, it's just the one that... Uh, there's something bugged with one of them where you can't use one or the other no, methods of refueling. Gotcha. Yeah, I think it thinks we have a probe to refuel. So it's using S33 logic. Oh, interesting. And so it only allows us to refuel from Hercules. So I think that right there is a problem. Well, so uh, no go for this guy either. can try to put the basket in. I've seen Stranger Things. I <laughs> think they call that a scissors. Our, uh, our co one's responding. Yeah, that's a KC-130. These guys got to be pretty far out. I'm not getting these guys. I'm going to turn around. I'm easily over dangerous territory. Proceeding up behind you, so. I think those 31s are bar capping closer to their base because they just lost them. Oh, we're back. This is this is stupid. Okay. I'm gonna try refueling with this, I have no idea. You're trying to hook up on the Hercules? Boom. The yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna I work. know it's dumb. I know it's dumb. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna overfly somebody right now. Off my left. Oh, I see it. Who is that? Uh, uh, I'm, I bet you're a three. Me, I'm up. At it. I apparently didn't launch any missiles because I still oh. have full load. So, well, then I'm you're, primary. You're up. One supporting. Is clean, then I'm gonna go to waypoint one. There are no airfields on this side of the uh the river where we can quickly touch down and rearm? Uh, there's an airfield uh, close to um, 
It's Hate. Look at look for Hate. It's uh kinda close to the front line. Should be like okay. nice. Yeah. I got it right underneath me. I can probably potentially just line really quick. Yep, you can. We could just do okay. that if we would need to rearm refuel. So you go and then we'll Yeah. You come back up, we'll go down, or one of us can go down. A from. We're probably pretty good at fuel, because up here we're at uh fifty eight hundred pounds per hour. Mission time is 8.30, which means all of our strikes are over with, or should be, and everybody should be RTBing, so. We could stay up and see if we can wreck any more of their, their stuff, because anything we kill is helpful for the campaign. Um, yeah, we can stay for just a little bit longer if they send something else. Uh, we'll kill it, and then we'll just RTB. So uh, give it like 15 more minutes. Yep, yep. Play time. Yep, all good. I could see why this would be much better for, um, well, not for this particularly, but other uh, modules that aren't fucking F-22s. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is easy mode. This is easy mode. This is disgusting. I'm so glad this this module fits the timeline of this mission too though yeah people forget how old the 22 really is mm -hmm. if anybody asks I'm just gonna work it into the story is you know <laughs> back up yeah they sent us back up we were losing the war they sent us back up Yeah, the hard part about this campaign is relying on the AI. So, it, like, the more people you have playing it, um, even if they're not that competent, they're usually more competent than the AI. And since the tasking is so simple, like, so, like, let's say you set up uh, F-16s to go strike an airfield. You, you task them to strike, like, up to six units at a time, and each unit's a waypoint. So, if you, if you have a, a lightning pod all the waypoints just instantly slew to what you need to shoot. Mm -hmm. And so you can shoot Mavericks super quick. You could run in, you know, six Mavericks and rifle them all off in one pass and hit everything. You can do, you know, GBUs become easier. Everything's just kind of set up for you, which makes it, which makes it easy. But the AI, like the AI either does really, really well. Like they do one pass four GBU 38 drops. No problem. Or... You send a four ship and they all get slapped out of the sky before they even get there. So it, it, the fr the frustrating part is 100% the AI. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. So I just landed with 34% fuel. Happy. We should be good. Especially up here at 37,000 feet. What are you rolling out at, Elmo? Uh, I'm rolling out just at 35.5. Uh, heading? I'm on your six. Okay. I was going to come form up on you. Okay, cool. I'm going to roll out whatever waypoint one is. That'll put us close to Hatay. Got 231s behind us now. Yeah, I kept on pop up, but I think I they're bar capping. Like 80 nautical miles, and I didn't see shit. Yeah, same. All right, I'm a 280. I think, I think they're set up on a bar cap probably quite far off in the distance.
Was that runway length a problem at all? No. Okay. <laughs> Man, you guys really went far. We did. It's almost like they didn't see us coming. Maybe another 30 minutes. <laughs> That's what I always hate about Blue Flag when they made you uh, refuel. You get in the F-15 and you're like, all right, I'll be up in the air in 15 minutes. <laughs> now they just give you a damn time limit, right? You played Blue Flag recently? Nah. I was playing the uh, latest iteration there with uh, the Cold War mm -hmm. on Persian Gulf. Pretty fun. Yeah, and I like Tiger. the Cold War era. Yeah. I'm a MiG-21 boy myself. I couldn't find anybody to fly the 21 with, so... Gotcha. It's like, most of the time I have to play to everybody else's... Shortcomings? I get it. <laughs> They're capitalist views. <laughs> That's right. No, Almo, I right don't way. want to play in the steam engine today. <laughs> Three's bingo fuel. Happy. The good news is we're really close to that airfield. Three zero four for twenty seven. Sorry, coming right. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Jabby son, be careful, it's my first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are in my Nexus we have, no wonder. I got rid of the wing pylons. Now oh, true stealth. Nice. <laughs> not, not that it matters. Not really. No. You might but come back. There will the power be guys way. in the comments complaining. Oh yeah. You guys left the door bays open too yeah. much. Yeah. Did you even open up your door bay pylons? No. Yeah, I did for a shot or two. What am I, an amateur? Come on, this is a simulator. Yeah, in my first video, I called it a video game. I got some comments. How dare you? I was like, it's a video game in the simulation genre. Get over yourself. This is true. It's a training tool. There's that over G. <laughs> on the ground? Over G on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Next time, try it. Just apply like 10% throttle power. Go uh -huh. full left throttle. <laughs> And then go. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> <laughs> you guys blacking out? <laughs> Over G. Over G. Hey Elmo, you want to warm up on my right side? Your gun's gonna come here for uh, for landing. Yeah. yeah. Reset. Okay. Right. So I'll switch out. I'll go up. Happy. Yeah, I don't know that there'll be much more action, but uh, we can even go push that bar cap. That might be fun. Go deep into enemy territory and see what happens. Let's do that. Three. Let's push deep. I'm just gonna 
turn left here and then go right into the overhead brake. Three. Here goes Ralphie. Three's the break. Make Jabby very uncomfortable on this landing. Ooh. I see very you high. There. See you back there. Very high. Put the fucking nose down. Do you think this is a carrier? <laughs> I always do seven degrees of sense. <laughs> She doesn't slow down. Let the air break out. It, oh, it wasn't? Did it go back in? It should be out. I don't know. I can't tell because it, it doesn't actually have an air brake. It's just used to the rudders. That's right. Wait, what does it have an air brake? We have an imposter. Stop. Yeah, I'll move us over to another channel. Ooh, that was smooth right there. Three with the overtake. Uh, they probably want to break here and make that taxiway if you can. Because you won't get another. Chevy one, one. Taxi parking area. Look like a couple professionals right there. F2ing you guys, and I completely didn't realize I was in a stratosphere. <laughs> Fly me to the moon. It's the opposite problem <laughs> of every other plane. Around, and any other module. Yeah. Any other plane, you would be in the dirt. <laughs> we have to shut down. So yep. We... Oh, I'm bingo fuel. You're just now getting bingo fuel? Yeah. He's at 21%. Uh, I am at 26. I think I'm going to kill this two ship. 
Is and it... come back by that time. I should rejoin with you guys taking off again. Okay. They're like 80 miles away from me. So just two and uh, ten of the ones we take off, so we're... Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my board number was wrong. 069. Hey. We can all be the same one. That's illegal. It takes two for 69ing, you know. You can't do that! Copy. Well, Ralphie, actually... <laughs> Shut up. I'm actually when maintainers try to tell you how the jet actually works. It says right here on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever give you guys uh, my five types of DCS bros? No, I could probably guess at a few of them, but go on. Let me bring it up. It's important business. It's important documentation. It is. I've written it all down. Five Slap different types. Slap next time. Yeah. I should. That's actually a great idea. Oh my god. Probably as good a mod as Patrick Starr's RWR mod. All right, so the the first type Stop. the first type of DCS bro is the ace combat bro. The traits are knows how to employ AA weapons only in FC3 aircraft only and always poses the question what's a notching? <laughs> Spotting giveaways, claims to know but doesn't know. Leroy Jenkins approach to everything. Mouth breather, very loud on comms. You all know those types. They're everywhere. Yep. The, uh, the next one is the auto start bro. Never learns how to start up a jet. Ain't got time for that. Uh, knows how to employ most air to air and air to ground weapons in most planes, but doesn't actually learn the system depth. Just wants to shoot shit. <laughs> Ralphie. <laughs> Just because I use how to start. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's. Start. I don't think there's a problem with using auto start. But if that's all you ever do, then this is this might be you. <laughs> there are only some jets. <laughs> you mean every single time? No. I mean, yes. But only for that particular <laughs> jet. <laughs> uh, the spotting giveaways, usually only good at one thing. Doesn't know how to manually input waypoints. Can't be bothered with procedures and is very impatient. The next one is the simulation appreciation, bro. Traits. Loves to learn about all aspects of aviation. Helpful to others. Enjoys learning and teaching. Spotting giveaways. All around general knowledge of everything. Not really a con in that list. Maybe there should be. And then we have the Chair Force Bros. A very 50-50 combination of Ace Combat Bro and Wikipedia Bro, which we'll get at in a minute. Uh, typically tries to learn about all the systems in an aircraft that can help them attain a better kill-to-death ratio. Those are, that's the only one that matters. Uh, spotting giveaways. still Steals kills online. Huge ego. Audibly frustrated to anybody who tries to con who's not contributing to their own success. Then we have the Wikipedia expert pilots. With bros crossed <laughs> out. Knows way too much about things they shouldn't know about. Typically has a ready-to-copy-paste collection of digital <laughs> documentation to any and all possible aviation related material. Uh, very hairy neck. Spotting giveaways, annoying to anyone who isn't a Wikipedia pilot. <laughs> Always gets into arguments over minor details. Overly passionate about 100% accurate modeling to all systems, confidential or otherwise. Ah, uh, I know one. <laughs> is never wrong, even when wrong. Jumps at the bit to correct you like a rabid dog and tells you they have insider information on how something works, but can't tell you their source. Yeah. yeah. And I, I couldn't have timed that any better because I'm refueling complete. Oh, or it says it's classified. Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly how it works, but it's classified. I can't I can't show you that. <laughs> but I know a guy. <laughs> but I know that a guy. guy. All, all right. I can tell you is it's wrong. <laughs> but it's wrong. 
The only downside yeah. is we don't know when we're rearmed now. Do you have to F2 to see or what? Uh, well, we'll you'll know when you're refueled. So, like, if you go left alt and uh, quotation marks again, you'll see how much your fuel status is. Oh. At the very bottom screen, you'll see your yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. your armaments. I just realized the bottom screen. Chief will also tell you. Rearming complete. He did. He did. No, he hasn't responded to me at all. When oh, I was really? There. Did you have your he cockpit canopy closed? Uh, I did, but usually that means they'll never respond and they won't do anything. Yeah. Well, it did for me. But it uh, yeah, I, I heard it. I heard it. He's just yelling on the outside with your canopy closed, <laughs> tapping. <laughs> you just I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> just top it off. <laughs> Waypoint two after we're done. Yeah, I flew all the way out here. Uh, where am I? You got nothing. Charlie Alpha Seven Zero. A couple of Sams tried to look up, but none of them dared to shoot at me. Uh, I had some thirty uh, ones east of me, mm -hmm. past that river. Uh, they turned around, and went the other way. <laughs> all right. So I'm coming back to you guys. All right, we can form up and. Uh... We can just fly home if that's what's needed. A firm. Two zero. I could get some more landing practice in this thing. There's that adorable SAA looking at me. <laughs> he thinks oh you're. He thinks I'm you're still a bird. Uh, trying to get the hug at. I'm still trying to get the hug at admins to give me an F-22 slot in uh, in Georgia at War on the Op Four side. <laughs> They would, the uh, FA. would they have to require everybody connecting to use it? I think so. Uh, right? See, that's yeah. the thing. It's it's a problem because some of them that use the uh, Flaming Cliffs 3 aircraft, some of those modules would work, uh -huh. but you wouldn't see the skin. So I guess the skin would look like the F-15, oh, for example. Right. Oh, cause the, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So on my side, it would work, but everybody else has Flaming Cliffs aircraft, so they would just see the F-15. Gotcha. Um, it, the C-130, for instance, is a mod that they cannot do because they would require everybody to uh, download it. Right. And anyone who doesn't won't be able to join the server. The um, Aerobatic server has the, the refueling in the QC-130 uh, that they use. What the fuck Sorry, is going on there? Damn, nope. 31s turned back in. Here, just meet up with us. We'll go push them and then... Them. Nah, they're yeah, just so far, far. they just keep doing circles back map. there. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, someone got a two-wire. Good job. Uh, so yeah, the aerobatic, ser aerobatic server has a flyable 130. That's the, the default model in DCS. <laughs> and they made it flyable on the Go server, which around. means you can... Uh, Alright. I don't have the, like... Really good. Oh, there's the there's the over G. I'll take right. Jesus. <laughs> Isn't that fun? It is fun. Very fun. Ready? Who's that? And stall competition complete. Gear's still out. Oh, yeah, I was okay. gonna say, I hope you put your gear yeah, on, otherwise remember? it's gone. Just did that the other night when I was drunk. <sighs> oh, it's a good thing I went back into my cockpit. I was in a nosedive straight into the ground. <laughs> did the gear go in or did it over G? Over no, G it's still out. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, it's going in. Okay, good. Okay. Maybe there's a speed limit. Yeah, I think it's like. 350 knots or oh, something. Oh, I hit 450. I mean, to be able to... Oh, to pull it in. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Alright, so we're looking for Ralphie. Uh, you guys don't need to come towards me. You can start making your turn back to the northwest and climb up to 30,000. 
Uh, by the time you get up there and you're facing the uh, our home field, I should be with you guys. Copy. The left. I hope the strike team did uh, everything they were supposed to do. Otherwise, I'm going to be very frustrated. <laughs> when he said left, all I could imagine was Ross and the friends when they were bringing the couch up the stairs. Pivot. Pivot. <laughs> I guess we'll go to Nav Zero. Is that weird that it put Nav Zero? Yeah, there's the Reaper. You mean target practice? Yeah. Lots of shoots you with the name 9X. If it hits it. Wait, Reapers have. They nice. just finished. Uh, well, they, in actual real life, they just finished trials and launched the second successful Aim 9X off of a Reaper. Wow. Nice. Yeah, it should have some defense capability. Why not? Is that you up there in the stratosphere? Mm hmm. Alright, we'll be conning any second. Uh, you're low, one to two o'clock. The hell? Uh -oh. Just gonna saddle left. Happy? Surprised we're not conning it. Whether you're like three o'clock now, Ralphie. Yeah, you. What's your altitude now? Passing uh, two seven five. Two seven. I'll level out at two eight. Ish. I see dots in the distance. I think it's at three F-16s. Did they uh, make some changes for spotting on long range? No, I've been playing in Hoggett for so long that the Hoggett has the I'm same thing. Where it's just, uh, but it'll, it depends on the client side, but you can set it to where it's markers only, so it'll show up as gray or uh, black at long distance as dots, and then you move in closer, it'll turn to the gray or white chevron and then once you get within I think it's five, six or five nautical miles then uh, it'll switch to coalition color I know that's how Haga has it set up or it might just be client side selectable yeah I'm gonna turn it off so it's it's better than the when they had the big balloon uh, markers way back yeah the big squares uh, not the squares, but the large uh, aircraft models. Oh, so yeah, at yeah. like 100 nautical miles, it would look as if they were maybe five or six nautical miles away. Wait. I and always loved how you, closer. Uh, you could have a fight going on at like 30, 40 miles. You get a, f a full furball, and you could see the missiles like split. The, the pixel would turn into two, and you could just see the uh, the missiles coming off the rails. Yeah. Uh, I think it still does that, but it's only within a certain distance. Certain, yeah, distance. Then you get closer and it basically disappears. Ooh. Mission just turned into aerobatics online. I'm sure Raptor pilots find ways of not being bored. Uh, crew chief, Zach, explain this maneuver. Well, <laughs> you see, <laughs> you weren't up there, man. I was just stress testing the engine and the airframe. All right, I started descent here. The 
This thing feels so much faster than all the other jets, too. Yeah. We're coming back on throttle. <laughs> he says, I'm coming back on the throttle as I'm like, you were on it? Well, not really, but I am <laughs> pulling it back. So I'm at like half throttle. Yeah. And I'm still like. Fat. Who was yeah. it that screwed up that formation flying that last time? Was it Arlio? No, that was uh, Drewski. We did that overhead break. And at, at short final, right before everybody was supposed to overhead break, and there's like five of us, he goes, okay, reducing throttle. I'm like, wait, what? And he just drops out of formation, and everybody scatters <laughs> as the flight lead just starts throttling back. That's awesome. No. To be fair, it was his first time. Who was it? Uh, Operator Drewski. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is surprising how quickly he got DCS. Like, yeah, he's been playing a lot. Shockingly quick. I see him streaming here once in a while. Mm hmm. Yeah, he really likes it. So I'm good on him. Some people get it, some people don't. Ideally, I'd like to have it where the backseater option is a f like anybody can join it. Because then it'd be nice for people that don't want to pay like 60 or 70 bucks for a module can like learn the 14 Rio or the eventually the F15E Wizzo. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That's why the L39 or the C1 one or something. Those should be like trainer modules and actually be trainer modules free. Yeah. Part of the ECS. Yeah. But people have paid money for them at this point, so they can't. Instead, they made the mistake of putting the Frogfoot the SC25T as a free-to-pay mod, a free module, and uh, it's one of the best flaming close modules. Everybody if loves were, to fly. If they had done that originally, what they should have done is just label that rather than SC25T, the label is an SC25UB. Uh, UB. Left. What's the UB? Baft. It's uh, the twin seat version of the Tango Frogfoot. See, I'm the fucking know-it-all. So the SU25T is actually a, <laughs> an upgrade to the uh, SU25A Frogfoot with various sensors, but it didn't actually go into production. There's gonna, very like, you're gonna one or two to made. Scoot right, sorry. We're in a little overhead break here. Should have told you that earlier. Not to cut you off. That's you're okay. going to break left or right? Left. Okay. Uh, I'll be two and I will you be three. Right. So essentially the Tango Foxtrot was an adaptation of the uh, SC25 UB, which is the twin seat version that was mm -hmm. made as a trainer, mm -hmm. and then eventually they just killed the uh, the Tango program and did the SC25 SM mm -hmm. or Scorpion. Yeah. Let's hope my gear comes out. Uh, we have a flight that just landed. Hopefully they'll be off the uh, runway by the time we get there. Lights look so good. If only Georgia did the same. You want right or left, Ralphie? 
center. You should not be next to me. Choose your warrior. The left. Oh, shit. Crew chief's not going to like my brakes. F-16 was not exited. <laughs> awesome. You really got to hold the stick forward. Yeah, you got Which two. Where do we taxi off, left or right? I went left, you got two behind you. You should be fine. Boy, we, we cut right in the middle of that, didn't we? Yeah. It's all good. Do you look like you're holding hands? Have they always done overhead brakes to land? Um, no. That's the first I've ever seen. Yeah, they just did a go around. Is that what that yeah, was? We're probably on the runway. Oh. One of them landed. Let's go in one of these big ass hangars over here. Check brakes, speed brakes. Where do you need it? I'll put it anywhere. <laughs> so to speak. And you can just be a straight in the middle. Do the pilot's heads move? So right now it says there were 14 aircraft destroyed, 12 ground units destroyed, zero bases captured. Hmm. Is anybody? Uh, let me. Hold on one second. Let me accept send the results the, here and see. Can you send me the download link for that, and you can walk you through how to set it up. Yeah, we'll do. Sweetness. Uh, so we lost uh one AV8B and one Hornet, but that was it. So that was pretty good, because the last few missions I lost like six F15s and all my Hornets and two F14s and. It's just a shit show if you don't provide your own cap sometimes. Um, we killed two 29s, two 25s, eight 31s. Uh, they lost two infantry, two paratroopers, two BMP twos, one Strela, one BM, uh, three BMP ones, and uh, one truck. Pretty good. So, all in all, a very good day. It was. It was a good mission. <laughs> glad they sent the f-22s to help us out <laughs> all right guys let's check out this taxi here uh we'll see what happened here um so right from the get-go we took off i'm gonna zoom in here follow uh i'll lead there which was me and uh we took off we went to our 
car cap. We turned it a little early. It was actually supposed to turn in uh, down over here between these two units here. Um, but I saw that the MIGs were pushing up and the RWR was getting uh, more and more stuff on it. So I decided to turn in early. We turn in and uh, immediately looks like that MIG is in trouble. Yep, he's good. All right. Uh, so I came in, we split up a bit. I flew right over this MIG. I never saw him. Foxed on uh, two SU-25s. Splashed one. Splashed the second one. And then came around. I was after this guy here. Uh, but he gets splashed by our Patriot site over here. And then I kind of egressed a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we rejoined and we we're going to push again. And it was about this time that I think we were decided we we're going to do the tanker. Um, all Ralphie defended the airspace and then we couldn't find the tanker. So we, uh, we turned around and then I decided to push out. Yeah. I ended up following Elmo. We pushed out over enemy territory. Sam's can't see us. I'm attributing that to a really small radar cross section, I guess. Um, I have had Sam shoot at me in this module, so I don't know what the stats are on it, but, uh, we set up a bar cap in their territory there for a quick second, came down and landed. Um, I do want to see what action went on between Ralphie and, uh, Elmo at the beginning here when we first got into that engagement. Uh, let's see, let's look at, let's look at Ralphie. So Ralphie comes in. Two foxes right off the bat. Splash one. Up here's the second one. Splash two. Oh, third, third one out. Was that his? Yep, third one out. Splash three. Splash four. Holy shit. He is unstoppable. Comes down. That guy gets splashed that he was on, probably. Turned away. Is that a guns? Oh no. Fox two. Narrowly escapes that sucker. Look at that shit. Wow. You fox on something else? Oh shit. Went after another one. Holy crap, Ralphie. Killing it. And then he went over here, found nothing, turned back. I think he lands at this point. Yep. So he landed. Elmo and I went out for a stroll in enemy territory. Here we are coming back. Ralphie takes off. I want to see how close Ralphie got um, to these two MIGs. These were the MIGs that kept taunting us. So it looks like they're bar capping way over here. Man, he was close. Look at that. He wasn't that far away. How do I tell it to look at this unit? Thirty-four miles turned around. Bummer. Could have gotten two more kills. All right, so he comes back. We rejoin, and we went back. Uh, the one thing I do want to see is what happened over here. So let's rewind all this. Okay, so. They had somebody land. What the fuck is that? I don't know what that is. That's weird. Um, okay. It's the right spot. This is where they're attacking. So where's our strike? Right, here's our, here's our, here's our entire package. Uh, so we got a Mark 84 goes down. I guess misses <clears throat> and then a second one also misses and then we got it one two three four gbu 38s on one target and the first one kills it in the last year okay that's interesting anyway uh and then 
one, two, three. So seven GBUs takes out three targets. Good. And then over here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then another bomb. So six, three, and four, that's 13 GBUs. <clears throat> that's a lot. And then another bomb came off over here. Looks like it missed. Yeah. And then uh, they were RTB. So we lost a Hornet in all this. Hornet. So what happened to that Hornet? Where's the Hornets? So that's an F-16, F-16, uh, F-15s. Here's a Hornet. So where's his flight? So one Hornet, 16, 16, AV-8B, AV-8B. So three AV-8Bs we sent up. And they got shot down? What happened? I thought we lost one AV-8B and one Hornet. F-16. Huh. Did we lose it right there? Hold on. There's an AV-8B. Hornet. Let's turn the labels on. I can't fucking decipher this. That's not much better. There's the two AV-8Bs. Where's the third one? Third one's down here. He just plowed into the ground? Why? <laughs> what? Uh, that was it. Nothing happened to him. He dropped four GBU 38s and then just committed Sudoku. What in the hell? So frustrating. So where's the F-18 we lost? Is this him? I didn't oh, here's two F-18s over here. I bet you it was one of these. Oh, it's F-16. Man, I don't get it. I don't get it. He came and landed. That's so weird. Oh, he flew back. What's he doing? That one landed. And that one bolted. Wow. AI bolters, huh? Oh, no, he didn't bolter. He went in. He went for recovery. I see. I don't know where we lost that other one. That's super weird. Uh, let's see if we find it in this menu. <clears throat> Here he is. Um, let's see. Went to go land, turned around. Oh, wait, no, this, this isn't him. That's the unit I was just on. I don't think we lost him. I think it counted it against us for some reason. I don't see that losing him. All right. Well, whatever it is, what it is anyway. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. I want to thank Ralphie Dude and uh, Elmo for coming on by and doing this mission with me. It was a lot of fun. Uh, so go follow Ralphie if you aren't. You probably are. Um, and, uh, you know, go say hi to Elmo. <laughs> no, we don't go say hi to Elmo. <laughs> He's busy enough. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment. The more likes, the more comments we get, um, the higher up this video goes, the more views we get, the more I'll want to do this. Uh, if the views go down too far, I'm just going to play it by myself. You guys aren't going to watch. So I'm just kidding. I'll post it. I don't care. Um, but yeah, leave a thanks. Leave. I fucking hated it. Whatever you're going to do, man. I'll see you guys next time.